the next section that I'm going on is the books and physical books. Now it's either called the books and physical books or I, I always call it books and physical books. Okay, now it's a very easy digress to pick up. Okay, but usually you'll give you two or uh, some things that you can compare. Okay, now books and whiskers is like that. First of all, there's a box. Okay. The line that is drawn inside the box, this line will be represented here. Understand? This one will be the upper portal. This line will be the lower portal. Now, then you have two whiskers here. Okay. This will be the maximum value. This will be the minimum value. So, a box and whisker diagram is just something that we will transform. Okay? If we know the median, we know the lower portal, upper portal, minimum point and maximum point. Is that clear? A minimum value and maximum value. Now, from the diagram itself, if they ask, what's the median? Then, of course, I will out loud. Okay? What's the inter portal range? Of course, I take upper portal minus lower portal. Understand? Then, if I ask, what is the range? I'll take maximum value minus minimum value. Understand? Now, this part here will mean it's the lower 25%. Alright? From here onwards, is 75%, right? But how about here onwards? Huh? It's the top 25, right? Do you all agree? If this is the 20, 75, this will be the top 25, right? You understand? So for the box fiscal diagram, this is how it is being read off. Everybody clear? Okay, now, can we take a look at page 92? In this section, we will learn how to draw and interpret a box and fiscal plot. Box and fiscal plot just mean box and fiscal diagram, that's all. Okay? So, I want you to bring to the page 92 at the bottom there. Now, can you see that if I draw it according to the graph paper, uh, this box and whisker diagram shows you that the median is 49, the lower portal is 42, the upper portal is 57, the maximum speed is 80, and the minimum speed is 10. Are you okay with the interpretation of the box whisker? Okay, now how come this is called whisker? You know, like the whisker, uh, okay? Alright, now, next. Next page. Alright, can you see that they also tell you that the range is the maximum minus the minimum and interquartile range is upper quartile minus lower quartile. So that is what we have here. Everybody okay with the box is still like that? And I'm moving on straight to the examples. Will that be okay? Because it's just interpretation, that's all. Okay? Now let's look at example 6. Huh? Example 6. Then after that, I will continue with the uh, exercises. Now, draw a box and whisker plot for the given set of data. Now, if they say to draw a box and whisker plot, you must know four or five values. Right? You must know first of all the maximum, then the minimum, median, lower, and upper quartile. Right? Now, can you see that this is a discrete data? This one by one. You got to do all the necessary things before we get the first plot. Is that clear? So first of all, what do I do? I must arrange the numbers according accordingly from small to big. Huh? Okay, let's look at the diagram. What is the smallest number? Three, then four. How many four? Two, four, then five, seven, ten, eleven. How many thirteen? One thirteen. 14, 16, and 17. Now, you have to count. Huh? The most horrible thing on earth is that you count, so count only. Huh? The range will be you understand? Okay, let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There are 12 values. So let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we are fine. Okay, all of you tell me. There are 12 values. Where are my middle positions? I have 12 values. Where is my middle position? 6 and 7. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So this is correct. Alright, now class. 
So what's my medium? 10 plus 11 divided by 2 answer. 10.5 or 10 and a half. Right? Everybody clear? Everybody clear? Okay. Now, because it's these two, I will divide into two like that, right? First half, second half, right? Okay, how many values here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So what's the lower product? These two add together, cut by two, right? Okay. Okay, so lower product? 4 plus 5 over 2, answer 5.5. What's that? 4.5, my mistake. Okay? Upper portal, straight forward. What's the upper portal? Upper portal. Straight away 14, right? 14 plus 14 divided by 2, okay? Okay, now what's the maximum value? What's the maximum value? 17. What's the smallest value? So, when I do the box and whistles plot, okay, I will have this. The maximum is 17, the minimum is 3, right? Of course, I don't anyhow draw it. Actually, it must be on rough paper. Also, not with the scale. Everything. Understand? Okay, so my median is actually 10.5, lower quartile 4.5. Upper quartile is what? 14. We all agree. Okay, bar is not very great. Look at the textbook. Can you see that the bar is actually quite long, the box? Okay, then the lower quartile is very near to 3. Can you see? Yes or no? The so upper quartile is further away from the maximum point. Can you see that the crystal uh, over here? Longer than the whistle over here. You can see it. Yes or no? <coughs> if you follow what I'm talking about. Okay. So this is the box and whistle clock that we have. 10.5, 4.5, 14, 17, 15. Everybody okay? Everybody okay with the discrete data? Can or cannot? Can, huh? Okay, good. Now, next, can we look at work example 7? I only have until what example eight again? Two what example? Right? Let's look at what example seven. Okay. A class of students took an English proficiency test. Okay. Before I go to what example seven, we look at the top paragraph. From the class discussion, we have learned that box and whistle plots can also be drawn vertically. Okay. I forgot to tell you that. Okay. Look at the previous page. Can you see the box and whistle can also be drawn vertically? At least you think the other way, that's all. Understand? Lower, upper, then rotate it. Okay, just rotate it. Alright? Then, box and whistle plots give us a visualization of the spread of a set of data and also facilitate comparison between two or more sets of data. Alright? Okay, then we look at example 7 first. A class of students took an English proficiency test. The results are represented by the box and whistle plot as shown below. Take the median, okay, all of you look. What's the median? Straight away. 60, right? Can you see from the diagram? Okay, next. What is the range? Range will be the maximum mark minus the minimum mark. So what is it? 100 minus 20. So you get 80. Is that understood? Okay. Part 3. For the interquartile range. Now, can you tell me what's the upper quartile? 81. 82, okay. What's the lower quartile? 31, right? So 82 minus 31 straight away, you get the third quartile range. Very easy. Now, usually for this type of question, right, in the exam, right, it's one mark each. So three marks, three of marks. Do you understand? You can answer this straight away, three marks. You understand? Uh? You see, this one only marks, things one just put, and then you see, and then answer. That's all time. Okay? But cannot be whole paper full of books and physical diagram, right? Uh? Understand? Uh? Not everybody will pass with flying colors. Uh? Okay, can? Okay, yeah. Alright, now. Next, we look at example 8. Ah, now they have two. Smartphone A and smartphone B. Okay, I know you're tired. Okay, but please, alright, life goes on, can I continue? Let's look at example 8. The box and whisker plots show the distribution of battery life hours of two brands of smartphones. Smartphone
smartphone A and smartphone B. 150 smartphones of each type were fully charged and tested for their battery lives. Okay, let's look at the box and Can you see they compare the two of them together? They draw the two of them together. Now, if I ask you, uh, which one has a high, longer battery life, what would you say? Smartphone A or B? B, right? Can you see the medium is higher? Always compare that. Okay, now let's take a look. For smartphone A, use the diagram to find the range, the median, and the total quartile range. Okay, let's do smartphone A. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Okay, so the spread is wider. This one, can you see? The 
Bigger 50% only half an hour difference. Everybody clear what I'm talking about. Two hours is very large. Half an hour is very large. Everybody clear? Okay. Okay, now. I want you to want to pass a lot. So much battery life, man. 30 yeah. hours. Is it possible? Your phones can last like more than a week. But you don't charge the more and last more than a week. Don't charge and don't use it. Uh, you know, like, uh, oh. it's like a, the, you know the energizer batteries? Uh, ah. yeah, that company, they go in very fast so super thick for some reason. Then they like, I, I don't know, they want to throw money away. So they just make like a super thick oh, going Yeah. I'll go and catch it. Yeah, then can, then can like, hope like can, uh, can last for like more than a week. Wow. But I mean, like, nobody But if nobody that. use, can last more than a week. La. Yeah. If everybody use, 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 then cannot only one, right? Alright now, but let's say this fella every day use one and die, you know? Uh, I am never like, I'm not interested. It's not phone anymore. Or iPhone or iPhone phone. Okay, so are we okay with the analysis here? Can you understand how we compare? I'll I'll teach you how to explain data. Because there are some questions that you have to explain the spread and everything. Okay? Alright, so hey, it's both already, ah. Uh. So this is example 8, the smartphone, ah. Uh. So we are now at uh, exercise 3C already. Alright, very good. So let me just uh, go through some questions and then let's let go your standard deviation. Now, before that, what number is it on the content page now? Now it's right 7 now. Okay, go to 7. Can you please write 7? Okay, say.
students from school B are generally heavier than students from school A. Do you agree with this statement? The answer should be yes, you must agree. Okay, then they say, give a reason for your answer. Now, actually, a very obvious reason is the median of school B is higher than the median of school A. Alright, once you give that up, straight away come out. But I want to look further. I want to do something further. Can you look at the two box sister again? Do you agree that the median of school B is even higher than the upper quartile of school A? You understand what I'm talking about? So what does it mean? School B 50% are okay. Alright? Is heavier than 75% of the school A people. You see that it's very, very uh, heavy? Not jialat lah. But it's, you understand what I'm talking about here? Yeah? Yes or no class? Okay? Because the median of the school B, right, is only 50%, correct? Half the student, okay, is already heavier than 75% of the student in school A. Am I right to say that? So, can you see that school B is really heavier? Okay, then I want to look at another thing. Look at the quintal quota range. This is what? How much is this? 14. This one has the most spread. That means uh, the, the, the mass can differ a lot. Understand? Yes or no? Okay, so what must you say? What did the question ask again? Do you agree with this statement? You must say yes. Agree. Once you say agree, one more. Okay, then they say give a reason for your answer. The median of school B is higher than the median of school A. Everybody clear? Once you talk about median, it's okay already. But do you realize what I've said is correct? The median is even higher than the upper quartile. Do you follow? Okay, so that means uh, 50% and so on and so forth, you will understand what I'm talking about. Okay? Do you follow what I'm saying? Can or cannot? Can, huh? Okay, good. Next question. Question number 9. How about we look at question number 9? Aha, it's a long one. They give you a cumulative frequency curve and they give you a box whisker. You must compare. Got it? Okay, so let's take a look at that. Question 9. Thank you. 
question 10 on the full step now. I will go through it tomorrow. Is that clear?